Hello and welcome to question one, paper two, 2014, the Leavesworth Ordinary Level. Okay, so um, as usual, I suggest you take a pause of the, and have a go. The next question is probability. So it can be very tricky. Um, just get ready here. Let's just read through it, okay. So Gary has five black cars, nine red cars, and 10 silver cars for sale. So five, nine, 10. Now, first thing I'll do before doing anything is add those. Okay, 19 and five is 24. So I'll go put 24 here, just, okay. You do the calculation if you wanted five plus whatever. Okay, but that's gonna get me the attempt, the attempt here. Um, let's see what's actually being asked. A car is selected at random. What's the probability that first the car is black? Now, I have the formula written here for uh, probability. So the probability of the car is black is given by the number of actual events divided by the number of possible events. Well, right there, okay, so probability of black. Okay, you don't need the notation, but I know that the bottom, the number of possible cars is 24. All I need to do now is find the numerator. That's the black cars, so it's five over 24. I'm not told to give my answer in decimal form, so I'm, I'm fine to leave it in uh, fractional form, but you should try, if you can, leave it in simplest form just to cover. Now, the second part there, the car is black or red, so the probability, when you see the word R, okay, that gives you an indication of what you have to do with the probabilities, and R means add. So you add your probabilities, okay? The other option is if it said uh, the car is black and red, actually that probably would make sense in the scenario, but you'd multiply the probabilities. Okay, I could go to the answer on the next page, so I have it written out properly. Okay, so the probability of black or red. Now, we'll look at the probability of a black car, so it's five over 24. We found that in part one. Probability of a red car, okay, is uh, red is nine over 24. Add those probabilities, so you're adding the fractions of five over 24 plus nine over 24. The denominator, the denominator is the same, so you can just add the numerators. So nine and five is 14. Now obviously you can use a calculator, and should use a calculator, just make sure you're doing it right. Uh, 14 over 24, now that's not simplified, so I have simplified it here. I could go decimal. I've simplified it down in fraction form, so I've looked for a number that'll divide in evenly, top and bottom. And so seven to 14 go, sorry, two to 14 goes seven times, two to 12 goes, sorry, two to 24 goes 12 times. Now, if I put 14 over 24 on the calculator, it would give me the answer. Uh, it would simplify it for me. So don't be afraid to use the calculator if you need to. Okay, this is part A. Now, part B, okay, so before we get stuck in here, probability questions can be tricky. And this was only around this is practice. So if I make a mistake, I apologize. I wouldn't find probability the easiest section. It can be what's called counterintuitive. Often the answer is, is different than what you, you would think. So that's where I suppose uh, knowledge of probability and practice comes in. But anyway, in part B here, a car is selected at random. Then a second car is selected at random from those remaining. What's the probability that the first car is silver and the second car is black? So the word and means multiply. So at some stage here, now I could write that and put multiply above the and, okay? That's gonna give uh, the attempt, okay? And I should probably be more explicit and just put an X above the and. Okay, well, what's the probability the first car is silver? Let's just go to the answer because I've typed out properly. So you see there you have 10, now it is a 10. Okay, 10 silver cars over the 24. Okay, so the first car is silver and second car is black. Now if you think about it, okay, the you're not replacing the car, there's no replacement here. Okay, so in the first option of 24 cars, once you've chosen one, there's now only 23 cars left. So first silver, and second black, five black cars out of 23 cars that are left. The word and means multiply, so you multiply your probabilities. That's calculator job, okay, and the calculator will simplify for you. So I come up with 25 uh, over 276. Again, I could go uh, decimal there, no problem. Okay, so that's part one. Part two then, one of the selected cars is red and the other is black, okay. Now, this is where my probability knowledge kind of falls down. If I was doing this without having access to the answer in front of me, I could often go wrong here and maybe do the exact same things I've done just above. But here the the order matters as such. 
So one of the card selected is red and then black. That's a different number of selections than black then red. Okay. Now again, I don't find that obvious personally. Okay. So that's what we're doing here. Now the probability first of red, so nine out of twenty-four. Red is nine. Okay. Nine out of twenty-four times so red and black is five out of twenty-three. Adding to that, okay, because it's red, it's the, the scenario here, red, black, or black, red, so it's add, add okay, those uh, first set probabilities, plus black, then it's 5 over 24 times 9 over 23. Now, they look similar, but there's two different numbers. Uh, again, the calculator will do it for you. You could break it down and do the, uh, this bit here, plus this bit here, or if you can type the whole thing in the calculator, it'll go straight to the answer of 15 over 92. Now, because this is an issue, okay, I would say to people, look, in a part two here, you're trying your best to get the attempt, okay, the three marks here. So get the now, even just do the simple probability of red black, as it says, okay. So basically getting this on its own, okay. You may not cop to that it's it's the black red as well, but the, the the order matters. Um, we get to the attempt. So look, if on a probability question, a tricky one, especially the tricky ones, you're getting three, losing two marks, I consider that a win. Okay, so I'll keep going. Now, part C here. Uh, three of the black cars, two of the red cars, and four of the silver cars have diesel engines. One car from the garage is again selected at random. What's the probability that it is a red car or a diesel car? Okay, so let's go look at the answer here. Um, so the probability of red or diesel. Okay, now the probability of a red car is 9 over 24. Okay. The probability of it being diesel, okay, is three and two is five and four is nine. So you have your nine over twenty-four is diesel cars. But the problem here is that that seems perfectly logical, okay. I've added them. But if you think about it, how many of those red cars were diesels? Okay. Uh you've counted these two diesel red cars and the two red cars twice, okay. You need to account for that, okay, uh, by taking away the overlap. So taking away two of those uh, red cars, because they've been counted here and here, okay. Now you know, the, that's often called where the, the they're not mutually exclusive, okay. Um, and the, the, you know, basically, if you're looking at the two sets, the set of red cars, okay, and the set of diesel cars, okay. The reds are in here, the diesels are here, and in here is the red the di red diesels. So they're counted in, in this set, counted in this set. You need to take away those two red diesel cars. Okay, um, so two of them to, to make the the probabilities match up. Okay, now probability is something that um, we're going to finish up this question here, okay, for part um, question one. In 2014, probability came up twice. Um, and again, it's just, it's really is just practice makes perfect. They can often ask questions around the the, the practicalities or the the, the how to put it best the um, the definitions of the different parts. So it's worth having them maybe written out even onto a small uh, card, so you have them very easily accessible, and you can over time just review them again and again. And those things like Bernoulli trials, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, they are they become second nature, and those type of theory questions can be answered. Uh, the mathematical questions, which is usually how they're asking things, um, will be something that just the, you either get or won't get, and hopefully you'll get. Okay, so thanks very much, and I'll see you on question two.